Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video we continue our Ike mission and try to complete planting flag on Ike, science data from the surface of Ike, finishing the construction of a rover on the surface of Ike, and building a new surface outpost on Ike. So four things and the last one I have a sinking feeling about. It occurs to me belatedly that when it says motorized wheels, it might not mean just any motorized wheels. It might mean the big ones. I seem to recall that being an issue on a contract in another version, and I doubt that that has changed. So I think that maybe these wheels, even though they are wheels and have motors, uh, do, do not count. So that's got to be a problem. Of course, the rest of the missions have already paid for this launch, so we're not bad on money. Uh, it's just that we probably have to send another version of this with different wheels, potentially. But we'll see. So, the first thing is we definitely need to land near that rover that we need to finish construction of. And that rover is here, equatorial. And I think the best thing to do is just correct our inclination. And so that we'll also have an equatorial orbit. So that is step one. And we might as well combine that with uh, orbit lowering maneuver to get into a lower orbit. Once we have corrected our inclination, that's probably more convenient though. Going straight for a descent is probably not a good idea. We have 741 meters per second to work with on this stage. We should probably have it crash into Ike to dispose of it. Next time, I swear, we need to do cleanup business. That will have to be the case. We need to see about how to clean up all of our debris. Which I have kept. I have not gone to the tracking station and eliminated anything, so it's all still there. Okay, well that'll be good enough for now. It does occur to me that we have mod propellant on board. I forgot to dump it from this cabin. But since we balanced everything based on it having that, I guess we'll just have to deal with it. I think that magenta marker is in fact the vessel that we need to land at. Yep. I mean, should we just land at it? I mean, it's dark though. I think we'll wait until daylight. It shouldn't be too long. I mean, the question right now is whether I've got the little twitch engines properly balanced for landing. If not, this is not going to be wonderful. Uh, anyway, here is the burn to initiate the landing sequence. Could have sworn we had sound out of this engine before. Okay, we should be sufficiently lined up with the unfinished Ike searcher. We probably should just go ahead and dump this stage after our periapsis is negative because otherwise we're not going to have enough time to figure out whether the t twitch en engines are in good shape or not. That'll do it for sure. Okay, separation. Okay, we do have sound, it's just the wolfhound has no sound. That's so annoying. Okay, we are controlling from the top docking port, activating the twitch engines, and let's take a look at our roll pitch and yaw based on how they fire. It seems like they're sufficiently balanced, so okay. I think we need to go a little bit further north. We don't have a whole lot of thrust weight ratio. Oh, there is sunlight at our desired rover location. I have no idea whether there's ore, or at least substantial ore, at the location. Okay, definitely need more pitch up. Actually, we probably don't even need to continue retro burning for a bit. Yeah, our, our thrust isn't the most wonderful thing right now. Fortunately, Ike is not that powerful in terms of gravity. Alright, do not want to bust the wheels here. 
Actually, trying to get close to it was sort of superfluous since we are on wheels. So, okay, hopefully all the wheels are happy. Let's see, control from here. Right. Uh, SAS off, maybe? Uh, that's the opposite of what I was thinking. Is it upside down? Oh, right, I did reverse it for launch. Uh, that'll be fine. Well, there are benefits to having a mobile base. Uh, oh, it does count as motorized wheels. Hold on, brakes. Uh oh. Everyone slow down, slow down. It's not that much of a slope here. Okay, maintain stability for 10 seconds. Right, all done on that. Now, uh, let, let's do the rover. And then uh, to cap things off, if everything else is successful, we can do the easier things. I mean, we'll do the easy things anyway, but sure hope it's a new biome. Uh, oh, it takes a little bit of time to slow down. Be careful. Do we even need that little rover given this? Jeez. Let's get close so the engineer doesn't have to do a whole lot of nudging the control unit around. I guess there is a science junior there anyway. Okay, Shep Gun. We do have a ladder. Can you grab those rungs there? Or are you going to just fall off? <laughs> Okay, he grabbed the rungs. Good times. Okay, now we need the, the control unit. Can you fit that in your... Okay, first of all, we do not want you to have the parachute. You gonna switch that? Ah, you can't carry that. Okay, um, fine. Uh, what we want is that EVA pack. Very important. And just, uh, oh, we have to be in engineer mode. I don't know, maybe you can attach it over here. Uh, we can't reach any node. So just lay it down there, and then we'll get to it. Whoa! I did not mean for you to reverse yourself. Uh, okay, this is complicated. Um, <laughs> okay, he goes reverse there, and then... Can we nudge out? Okay. Uh, oh well, he's going head first. I don't know why. Okay. Which way around is good? Uh, can I see the text on there? Okay, I think that means it's this way around. We can always tell it to be reversed if necessary. All right, well, while you're out here, land a flag. Don't know where they carry the flag. That doesn't have any inventory space. Oh. Um, Shep gun on. I, uh, it toppled already. All right, yeah. Take surface sample. Lowlands, keep. EVA report, keep. Oh. Um, well, let me switch vessels. Conduct materials survey. Keep. Uh, can we get him to pick up that materials study? And put it into the science lab, maybe? We've got a lot of scientists, we could probably reset that thing. Is it going to flip around here? Yeah, okay, this is, that's, why, okay, okay, yeah, just climb out, climb out, that's so weird, this is a direction, oh no, 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 
Okay, uh, that's a lot more gem force than I was expecting, actually. Okay, okay, well, this is what the EVA packs are for. Feels more like Minmus than anything else. No, I wanted you to go... ...to the hatch. Grab the hatch. There we go. All right, so... Just... We've got two scientists in the mobile processing lab already, anyway. And we can review stored data. Material study, definitely send into the science lab. Surface sample, sure. Heck, uh, even DV report. Um, what we can do is have uh, fill cell pop out. Take another, well, we, we don't need the surface sample. EV report, uh, keep board and transmit that because we need to do the transmit or recover scientific data from the surface of Ike. So we'll transmit that. Okay, so that's done. And we just need to remove the rover now. So let's start research. 33 signs per day. I guess while we're focused on this, let's try and drill and see what happens. So I'm going to start the fuel cell. Deploy drill. All right. <laughs> it's going to lift us up a bit. Extend radiator. Start harvest surface harvester. Start another one, and it's rocking. And start converting. Okay, well, the conversion speed is good. Uh, the electric charge is going down, though, so... Oh, and it's really rocking, so it might knock the rover. Mm. But I think that two fuel cells will be more than enough to replenish the electric charge. It's just getting... It's just... Yeah. It was just waiting to get down to 95%. Okay, um... Yeah, let's try and save the rover before we get into trouble here. Uh, no, that's the flag. Okay, start its fuel cell, because otherwise it's not going to have enough. Oh, we're other way, other way, other way. Back away from that. The brakes really don't work very well. Okay, so we need the marker, and we do not have the marker. I've moved the rover, but we need to get to that particular location. So last time, I think going to the tracking station helped with that. No, well, there's the location. Even if it doesn't pop up, we can just remember that we have to go due east, and that'll be fine. Uh, but we can't activate navigation here, so. We rescued an aging satellite by adding RCS, and now we're rescuing a damaged rover. Feels good. Feels good fixing other people's mistakes instead of trying to rescue a Kerbal due to my own. <laughs> oh god! Well, no! No! Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Oh no! Guys, I did not cause that. I'm gonna Alt F4 and hopefully it will not be in that situation. Okay, turning to it again and hoping that doesn't immediately topple over. I don't think there's enough of a reaction wheel on it for me to upright it using hack grab or something. Not that there's much gravity on Ike to begin with. So I don't know. Mm, okay, no, no! Uh, come on! Uh, uh, come on, no! This is just unfair. I mean, seriously. Is it because that thing is making such a ruckus or something? Maybe if I close the doors on the... I don't know. I guess... Oh, is it responding? Close? Um... Time to get a Kerbal out to knock it. Maybe more than one Kerbal. This seems like a job for... Uh, well, let's get a scientist anyway. It's a job for an engineer, but 
Uh, there are two scientists working, and the engineer is helping to keep the drilling stuff efficient, so... That leaves one scientist who's not doing anything. It couldn't just be easy. It was going quite well. Everything was so simple. But no, Kerbal had to go and do this sort of deal. Okay, there's a dish there. Uh, okay, that... Is that gonna be enough force? Oh, we broke the dish. We broke the di Oh, no. Great. We did pack some repair kits. I don't know if the repair kits will work. But we'd have to turn this over somehow first. Come on, keep going, keep going. Keep pushing it. I don't care. I thought the RCS... Okay, there we go. Uh, no. Oh, no, he's getting crushed by it. He's getting crushed by it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Uh... <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Um... That's a relay dish. The controller might have enough power. Here, uh, stay out there. I want to see. Uh, yeah, we, we seem to have comms. And can we set the target? I don't know how far it is. No, we still can't see the nav location. Let me see. Is it one of these other things? Nope. Well, we remember it was due east. So that's what's going to happen. Oh, uh, let's control. Well, that's forward, huh? All right. Reversed. Oh, that's forward and reversed. Now, I guess we put the controller on sideways, which is not super. Maybe that's what was causing the problem. So due east. Right. And we do have to maintain line. Maybe we should have that thing follow us. Well, if we lose comms, then I'll, we'll have to move it. It's a downslope, apparently, because I don't have to keep up the acceleration. Haven't I moved the rover enough? I mean, I don't dare turn to the tracking station to try and get that marker. Considering this will probably flip around again. Curbnet access. Oh, well, I didn't want to place a waypoint. Engineer's Folly. Well, that sounds about right. We are communicating through the Ike Mobile base. We sure hope that remains the case, but we're getting pretty far away from it. At least the fact that there's now an upslope will help. Three kilometers now. Okay, this mountain's eventually gonna get in the way of our line of sight. I'll go until we hit a potential limit here. Oh, we're going downhill. Uh, let's park first. Park. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to risk the tracking station. We passed it. We passed the location. I mean, it's definitely in the middle of where our base is and where we are. But it didn't register it. What do I need to do to get that marker and also not flip out, hmm? Well, okay. This time it did not flip out. Marker? No marker, though. If I focus on Ike, there's still no marker. These zones must be really particular, huh? 
I felt it was about dead center between where the rover was and where our mobile base is. So we were four kilometers away, so I'm expecting two kilometers ish. We should be there. And so we can just go lateral and see where we might hit it. What if it's pissed about the antenna being missing? Can't quite zoom in anymore. Goliath National Pro uh, Natural Products was it was? National Products. Um, it looks like it's north east from where the rover is, but really darn close. I can't zoom in any more than that. Nope, wrong thing. Okay, northeast. Can we see it on the map now? Oh, we can see it on the map now. Oh, thank goodness. Don't ask me. There we go. More northish. Finally, I mean. I don't know what determines these things. Okay, we have finished construction of a rover on the surface of Ike. It reads it. We have filled the contract. We are in the right territory. And let's park. Let's get our, uh, our Kerbal fill cell back inside. Gosh, uh, apparently hopping happens around here. Okay, fill cell. And board. Uh, no, come on. Come on, Phil Cell. We really need to bring these girls back for something. We're pretty short on Kerbals at the KSC, actually. But fortunately, next time I'm anticipating that we are going to do cleanup stuff. And probably that won't require the use of Kerbals. So we'll be all right. And this is replenishing its liquid fuel and oxidizer. It could probably get back into Ike Orbit without any trouble. But after that, we don't have anything to do with it. So anyway, we'll let it be for now. And we have fulfilled all of our Ike contracts. We only have uh, two excellent contracts. We returned to Kerbin from Flyby of Paul and in this one Gilly contract. But again, next time I think we will start focusing on cleaning up all of our debris, uh, of which we have 48 pieces. So, yeah, lots of work to do on that subject. But we do have a lot of funds to work with, so we might as well finally put that to use. All right, so with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.